We were reminded again this week that cell phones can be dangerous in the hands of young people. There is a new case that involves sexting, which is sending messages of a sexual nature. The case is on Long Island in New York, but it could happen anywhere. Eureka Duncan reports. When I got the video, I didn't know what it was. 15-year-olds A.J. Fenton and Kieran Phelan say they were suspended from school for opening a sex video on their smartphones sent to them on a group text message. I think it happens quite often. In all, about 20 Long Island students were suspended for up to five days for forwarding the video or simply receiving it. Two students were arrested and charged with felonies for distributing child pornography. Parents Thomas Phelan and Andrew Fenton are fighting to overturn their son's suspensions. Nobody knows what's coming to their phone. If he's 18, college is going to say we have a suspended from school. He's going to have to say yes. The next question is why, and according to what the administration was telling me on Friday, child porn was on his phone. This month, officials in Colorado reported at least 100 students at Canyon City High School used a secret app to exchange nude photos on their smartphones. Police in Ohio are currently investigating a sexting case involving 14 children, ranging from 11 to 17. Computer expert and CNET editor Dan Ackerman says with modern technology, there is no way to guarantee your child's safety. The one thing we've discovered over the years is that anything uh, that you put out there on the Internet, whether it's something you're posting publicly or something you're sending privately, exists in digital form somewhere. It can never truly be deleted. Looking back, Kieran and AJ admit there's one thing they could have done differently. Good chance I'm not opening it at all, just deleting it right away. A lesson they didn't expect to have learned in school. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, Long Island, New York.